There are so many fathers to look up to in movie and TV history. Uncle Phil isn't even Will's dad, but he was a better dad than the Fresh Prince's real dad. I guess Phil didn't teach him not to slap people though. Brian Mills would do anything to get his daughter back. Even someone like Rick Mitchell, who doesn't always see the appeal in the thing his daughter likes, he still tries to get into it so he can bond even more with her. So many great fathers. <laughs> except for the one that comes to mind, Buck Cluck from Chicken Little. This chicken needs to take a trip to KFC and look into the fryer so I can drown this bitch. Buck Cluck is an awful father. For those who don't know, Chicken Little is about Chicken Little, who gets hit by a piece of the sky that looks like a stop sign, and of course no one believes him. The mother is dead, so he can't have any motherly love, and the only person here for him is his dad. And even he's not there for him. Oh dad, no! Quiet, son, this is embarrassing enough already. <laughs> After a year, the town is still bullying him, harassing him, and this is his advice. Remember how I told you it would be better for you just to lay low, don't call attention to yourself, right? Yes, but See, it's, a... it's like a game. I, yeah, I, I, a game I, I, of hide and seek, except the goal is never to be found, ever. So Chicken Little thinks to himself, maybe I should do baseball, that's what my dad did, and maybe I can impress him by being just like him. And this is what he says. Baseball? Really said baseball. Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, hey, why not, right? <laughs> yeah, why not, but why? Well, take away my squeaky toy. It's a hit! Later, Chicken Little actually wins the baseball game, and he's only proud because him and his son's reputation is saved. And it's honestly so selfish. I don't know how Disney made such a horrible but father. But Chicken Little actually wants to talk to his dad about how he's feeling, and he's scared to, but you know, do you even blame him after his dad says this? I'll see you later. Remember, lay low. Then Chicken Little has the proof about the sky falling and it disappears. Hey. No, it's the acorn thing all over again. Hey, there's no story here. Well, at least we can sell the video to Chicken's Gone Wild. When no one believes him, he looks into his father's soulless eyes, pleading for him to believe him this time. No, son. I don't. <laughs> I can't tell you how embarrassed I am, folks. He's embarrassed. And then to put insult to injury. Oh, Mr. Cluck. Don't take it so hard. No one blames you. No standing up for his kid until the final 15 minutes of the movie, but by then, it's too late. Buck Cluck is a villain. He is the final boss of Bad Dads. Richard Watterson is a complete idiot, but he loves and supports his kids, even though his dad was mean and an asshole. How about a joke? Knock knock. Dad? What? No. Bob Belcher is a soft-spoken person, but he loves spending time with his kids and family. Mufasa, Atticus Finch, freaking Darth Vader is better than Buck f Cluck could ever be. So let's celebrate the amazing fathers of movies and show history and forget about this awful train wreck of a father. You gotta be ready to listen to your children, even if they have nothing to say.